issues, without any obstacles, without any problems, and everything went perfectly. Um, that didn't happen. But the good news is we ended up with a product that we're very proud of. And a lot of people have asked me, you know, why is this your first product? A number of people in the community know that I left one business and got into the entertainment business about six years ago. Uh, my collaborator, Richard Willis Jr., and I were working on four TV series and three movies. And I came to him in October of nine and said, okay, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to start with a movie about a young lady who suffers tragedies and has to overcome these tragedies to get to a personal goal. And in choosing that movie, I was giving a nod to my second son who passed away. Three months earlier, I'm sorry, I'm going to do my Speaker of the House Bonner imitation in a second. Uh, my second son was given 90 days to live, and he lived for 21 years. Yeah. Wow. And every day for him was a struggle. And when I was thinking through the storylines we had, what I wanted to celebrate was not just his struggle, but all our youth today have their own struggles. In fact, everybody in this room is climbing their own pyramid. We all are working to get to the top of our own pyramid. Whether we're 14 or 44, we have our own pyramid. And what this movie tries to encapsulate is, is the essence of the human nature that says, no matter what happens, I'm going to strive to get to the top of my pyramid. So that's what this is all about. Now, I was uh, interviewed earlier tonight, and somebody asked me about what made this product work. And my answer was the chemistry of those involved. Uh, when you shoot a movie, and the average age of your cast is, is like 20 years old, you're taking a lot of risk. And the only way you can manage that risk is to bring in talent with experience. So the first person I'd like to recognize is our director, Larry Jordan. Larry? Directors, by the way, directors have a reputation for being difficult, dictatorial, uh, arrogant. <laughs> what else? What else can I say about you, Larry? Uh, but, but the thing about Larry is Larry was put in the worst position that any director could be put in, which is he wasn't there in pre-production. He wasn't the original director. He wasn't part of the team that created the division, the, the vision, and yet he came in to salvage the project when we were at the brink because we lost our original director. And I want to say to Larry, on behalf of Slamgate and the actors, you know, I get so choked up because we were literally at the, at the point where we say the hell with the whole thing, let's go home. Larry came in and worked as a member of the team by the way, I have not shared that with DGA, so your reputation is not soiled. But the team, the team work that Larry did was great. We had Philip Waters, uh, director of photography, was wonderful. Uh, our two names are not here tonight. They both have conflicts. It, it's disappointing to me, but I cannot say enough about what Steve Gutenberg and Dean Kane did, because when they came in, uh, and, and saw that, that we're working with teenagers and 22-year-olds, they could have been off by themselves and just said, the heck with everybody else, but they didn't. In, in the time that they were on the set, they were with the kids. We all ate together. We were shooting, you may not recall, but there was a, hundred and th there was a spat of three-digit uh, temperatures in Ju uh, June and July last summer, summer of 10. We shot every bloody day. No air conditioning because it makes sound, so you're in a house that's 120 degrees, mm -hmm. all right? Yes. And Dean uh, Kane and Steve Gutenberg, were, they were with the young cast and the young crew all throughout, everybody sweating along the way. <laughs> but they were great working with our young crew. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to spend any more time thanking people, 
But I will note that the Virginia Film Office was critical in working with us. They provided funding up front. They provided funding for, for this event. And I, I thank Virginia Film Office, Rita McClendon, the Virginia Film Commissioner, for their support. The, the last thing I'm going to say, I'm going to talk a little bit about my, my collaborator, Richard Willis, Jr. Uh, I went out to Hollywood saying, here I am. Aren't you happy that I'm here? I'm going to save Hollywood and make great stuff. And Richard looked at me and said, yeah, right. All right. I didn't know the first thing about what I was doing. And I've learned from the man now for the last few years. And even in this movie, I gave him a story. I gave him characters. He took my story. He made it more complex. He took my characters. He made them more interesting. Uh, he wrote a script. I, he said, let's sit down and spend an hour taking and giving me your reaction. And we spent six hours. Now, not many writers will sit with uh, the story guy for six hours listening to what is being said. And the fact that he did that gave, showed that he had respect for me. And I will never forget the fact that he was working with a novice and helped me in my journey to develop a product that I hope you're going to find very entertaining. So, Richard, thank you so much. All right. With that, we have to prove that we did something worthwhile. So, let's cut the lights and watch the movie. All thank right. you very much.